Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. She was never allowed to dress the way she wanted when she was young. He studies geography, just as his brother does. John treats her as though she was a princess. As if to warn me about the danger, my dog jumped on me and barked. In this lesson, we're going to look at Clauses of manner. So stay tuned. I've already talked about some clauses. You can click here if you want to review them. In order to talk about uh, the way something is done or about somebody's behavior, we need clauses of manner. And some of these are much as, just as, like, as if, as, as though, the way, in a way, etc. So let's list the two examples that I gave you at the beginning. Sue was never allowed to dress the way she wanted when she was young. Okay, so the way is the clause of manner. Now, I was staring at her in a way she didn't expect. So we have here the two clauses of manner that they describe the way something is done, okay? So, if we uh, use uh, these clauses of manner to compare two clauses, uh, we can say, for example, he studies geography just as his brother does. Remember that we don't need to repeat the verb in this case, because um, is not needed, okay? So he studies geography just as his brother does. It's the same. So just as is used to compare the way something is done here. Another example, she swims like her sister does. The same thing here. We don't need to repeat the, the, the main verb, swim, so we use the uh, auxiliary of that sentence. So, she swims like, is comparing to people in this case, and uh, uh, the, the way something is done. She swims like her sister does. Now, it is used also if you want to explain that something is done in the way that it would be done if something were the case. And in this case, we need to remember to use the past tense of the clause of manner, in the clause of manner. Let me give you the example that I gave you at the beginning again. John treated her as though she was or were are the subjunctive part of the sentence, because we need, um, right after the uh, clause of manner, we need the past tense. In this case, it would be a subjunctive. Now, the uh, next example was, the employer behaves as if he owned the whole town. Okay, the employer behaves as if he owned the whole town. Owned, okay, is the past tense of the verb to own, and here would be considered a subjunctive. One last thing I want to say about uh, clauses of manner. We can use as if, as though, uh, in non-finite clauses, but the clause must begin with a to infinitive or a participle. Dancing, perplexed, etc. Let's look at my examples. As if, to warn me about the danger, my dog jumped on me and barked. As if, to warn me, see, here we have the to infinitive. Now, another example could be, he was looking at me as though perplexed. In this case, we have a participle, okay, a past participle. As though perplexed by my wording, by my language. 
he was looking at me as though perplexed by my wording. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, we looked at clauses of manner, as though, as if, like, as, in the way, in a way, etc. They are used to talk about the way something is done or about somebody's behavior. They are used to also to compare the way something is done with the way something else is done. They can also be used if you want to explain that something is done in the way that it would be done if something were the case. We can also use as if and as though in non-finite clauses. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you want to post your own example showing clauses of manner, it would be great. Now, if you want to share the video, you may do so. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Next week, you'll get a new lesson. Have a great day and see you next week. Bye-bye.